Hi everyone, this is Tracy Bowman coming from Buzzards Bay, Bowman for Art on Facebook, and I'm gonna make some more medium. But I've adjusted my recipe since my first video about my medium. So let me show it to you. So I'm about to make it, and I need, let's see, let me get you in a good spot. So I need my burr. 8300, which is my paint base, and poly acrylic, and GAC 800. So um, I'm gonna make a double batch. So I'm gonna need four cups, which is 32 ounces. So I'm gonna pour my paint base into this container. And it's great, you can get these at Home Depot. They have all the measurements right on the side, so it makes it easy. <clears throat> and while I'm here, I take a little container like this and I label it paint base and I keep this on my, my working table here. I'm filling it up with my spatula. And I keep it on the side so if I ever need to adjust a paint and I often have to do that with the uh, pigments because you already have to disperse them with the polyacrylic so it has a tendency to be a little thinner than I want so I can add some paint base to it. All right, so let me clean up my bucket here. <clears throat> now I need two cups of the polyacrylic. So we'll open that up. I got my measuring cup here, my key. All right, this is a new container. And two cups is right about here. So we'll fill that up. Ooh. So clean that one up. And we add this. See all the measurements on the side, so it makes it really easy. Okay, so we'll put this in there. Now I'm making a double because I paint a lot. And I don't wanna be mixing this up all the time, so making a double batch. So usually, if you're gonna make a single batch, it's two cups of the Burr 8300, one cup of the poly acrylic, and then you need an eighth of a cup of the Golden GAC 800. But since I got a double batch, I'm going to add more than that. I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup. Oop, stay still. And the GAC just, since I use the GAC 800, it just prevents cracking. Um, I put it in my medium and I put GAC 800 in my base. So if I am using my Color to Go by Sherwin Williams, I just give it a good squirt. I just take this squirt bottle and I give it a good squirt, mix it up, and that's good enough. Make sure I get all of it out of there. Best I can. <clears throat> And we just give it a mix. We 
mix it up well. The uh, paint base is thick. So I like to, let's see, where is it? Here we go. <clears throat> it's kind of thick and hard to stir. It's goopy. So I like to use this. It just helps to break up the goop a little bit easier. I don't think it makes any more bubbles than the other. I think it smooths it out well. If anybody is a baker, I think you know what I mean. Don't want any lumps in it. It looks and feels good. Put that in my sink. I have a special sink too that uh, won't go into my septic system. So everybody's gonna have to figure out how to do the best they can for themselves. Uh, acrylic paint and whatnot. All these acrylic paints, they should not go in your septic system. You should have a five gallon bucket to the side with some water in it that you can clean your stuff in and then dump that out somewhere. Um, don't let it go down your septic system. If you have um, sewer, then you're better off than I. So now I have a bunch of these bottles that I keep and they, I fill them up with my medium. And then when I'm ready, I just mix up my colors in my little cups and it's very easy to do. I don't have to go crazy mixing paints and whatnot. In the thing, Tracy. Okay. Ooh, big mess. Clean that up. Put the top on. sure it's on good and tight. Messy business. <clears throat> Paint pouring is a messy business. So now I'm ready to go. And I've got a bunch of others that I need to fill. But um, I'll show you that I'll take these little cups. I'll take my medium. Now I can just squirt my medium in my cup. I can take my paint. I love this color. Extreme Sheen Peridot. It's a great green I can squirt a little of that in there. <clears throat> Mix it up. Just make sure I scrape the sides. And there's a little ridge down on the bottom too. I make sure I get in there. And it's perfect. So if you're using a tube paint, you may probably have to add some polyacrylic. So I keep my polyacrylic in a dispenser bottle also, right here in my studio on my, on my counter. So that makes everything easy. 
And then I also keep the paint base on the side. So if I need to adjust when I do pigments. Yeah, so the tube paint would probably need more polyacrylic. That's why I adjusted my recipe. Um, it just makes it easier to um, make it so I can adjust it this way or that. Because every paint is different. And they all have different consistencies. And this way it just helps me be aware of that. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll always come up with more. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Bye now.